Daniel, we've used the same backdrop for like, for like three videos. Wait, let me get one second. Micro, macro, what does it all mean? Welcome back to another video about influencer marketing, how to partner with more creators, better creators, the best creators to grow your business. Somebody's gonna cancel me for plant abuse. But with all those terms and words and brackets, how do you know who to actually work with? Well, we did a study of 71 million Instagram profiles, and we found that creators with fewer than 10,000 followers have the highest engagement rate overall. Now, engagement rate is obviously a great metric for benchmarking potential performance amongst creators, and knowing that micro-influencers have the highest engagement rate might influence you to partner with more of those smaller folks how do you actually find them so we're going to cover six different ways you can find micro influencers in this video using an influencer search tool looking for similar accounts from the list of folks who are already following you on social or, or even your employees checking mentions or hashtags on social google asking for referrals the first way is to use an influencer search tool like modash now i'm not just self-plugging this is actually the way that hundreds and hundreds of companies find creators all over the world. In fact, we list every creator on earth with more than a thousand followers on the big three networks, Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. We checked recently and just on Instagram, micro influencers, we have around 70 million of them. But anyway, enough flexing about our tool. First, you gotta sign up and log in. It takes a few seconds, click the button, click the other button, you're done. So once you log in, you're gonna see this dashboard and it's got all kinds of fancy search filters you can use to narrow down influencers in lots of ways. But for the sake of this video, let's just focus on a couple that matter for the sake of micro influencers. First thing we wanna do is pick a platform. We're already on Instagram, so let's just stick with Instagram. Then we wanna pick a follower range. We're looking for folks with less than 10,000 followers. Of course, you can pick whatever range you're looking for in here. So throw 15 and 35,000 or 100,000 to 250,000. We're going to click this button to show results. And just like that, you've clicked like two things and now you have 64 million influencers uh, with the follower range that you're looking for. So pretty easy. Now, of course, that's way too many creators and they're not necessarily relevant to your brand. So we're going to add a couple more little things here to narrow down our search. The first thing I'm going to add is influencer location and audience location because my hypothetical basket weaving company only ships within Canada. Hey. <laughs> so this has narrowed down our search results significantly and we're at 330,000 influencers or so. And I can start looking at the results and save some interesting profiles. Or again, if this is a little bit too many, we can add a couple more filters. So now in less than two minutes, you've gone from asking how in the world am I gonna find micro influencers to a list of super targeted leads in the right location with the right number of followers. Now, one last thing on Modash before we move to the next step, you might be thinking just because a creator is in the right location and has the right number of followers doesn't necessarily mean that they're a fit for your brand. And I completely agree with you. So if you click on a profile, you can see all kinds of other details, including how many fake followers they have, their engagement rate compared to other creators, their audience demographics, uh, and even their most popular content. There's tons of stuff in here to help you make good decisions. Now, the second way to find creators is to go to a page you really love, know and love in the topic that you're looking for and check out the profiles that Instagram is suggesting uh, or the profiles that that creator follows. So if you find a super camera nerd, then it's likely that they're following other people who are really into cameras and photography. So open up the app, go to that profile, click following, and there you go. You can see everybody that that person follows. You can see here on the right, we have suggested. Uh, suggested is who Instagram thinks might be similar uh, and might be worthy of, of checking out if you enjoy that profile. This can be another great source of topically relevant creators. Now, if that process is a little bit too manual for you, you can pop back into Modash, stick a username in the search by username box, and Modash will give you a list of influencer lookalikes and you can filter those lookalikes. So, and we apply a follower range. Now we have a list of topical creators within the right follower range who are similar to this profile. Okay, let's jump to the third way that you can find micro influencers that doesn't involve any tooling. Just pop over to Instagram and open up your brand's account. So let's say that I'm ride hailing king of Europe and Africa, Bolt. I can go to my profile here. I can open up the follower list and voila, just like that, I can, I can find uh, folks who are following my brand now you can click around other places as well who's liking your content who's following you your comments there's lots of places to look and see where your potential ambassadors live 
but this is one way to quickly surface a few more creators relevant to your brand. Another little tip here is if you are in a big organization like Bolt, with several, several thousand employees, you can always throw a message in Slack or in your Microsoft Teams and ask anybody here super famous on Instagram by chance and, and want to be a part of our next ambassador program. Uh, sometimes your employees can be your best advocates. The fourth way is similar to the previous one, but you're going to focus on your branded mentions and hashtags. If you continually monitor for who's mentioning your company or who's using your branded hashtags, for example, if you're Nike and you have a tag that's hashtag just do it, if you keep an eye on, on the usage of those, you'll find that occasionally rather large accounts are using those tags and mentions. So this is a great way to keep an eye out for small creators who already know, like, and trust your brand. Fifth and almost final way to find creators is to use Google. You know Google, you use it every day likely. So what you can do is put the type of creator you're looking for, for example, Canadian influencers or skincare in micro influencers into Google. What's gonna happen when you put something like skincare and micro influencers into Google is it's gonna provide you a bunch of lists of creators that other folks have curated who are relevant to that space. Uh, that's an easy way to surface a bunch of potential results. Three little tips here. Focus on more recent articles if you want things that are a little bit more up to date. You're going to have to view a few of these pieces in order to create a big enough pool that you can then go check and see if they're a fit for your brand. Get as specific as possible with your search query so that Google knows exactly what you're looking for and so the listicles that surface are relevant. The sixth and final way that We've heard marketers talk about how they find creators is through referrals. So these could be referrals from other marketers in your space, from other creators you've already partnered with. You're looking to create a little engine where people will tell you who's working, who's on topic, and who's able to engage an audience in an effective way. If you want to jumpstart this, you can scroll through the content of the creators you're already working with, find the folks that they're occasionally collaborating with, and ask for that intro. There you go. There's six different ways to find micro-influencers. This plant is really starting to tickle me, so uh, I need to move on to the next video. Thank you very much. Go check out our video on how to find local influencers. That's a, that's a, that's a, that's a good one.